Molly Gavos speaks on stereotyping actors in the movie industry. What do you guys do for fun over here? Ever heard of NSAS? Ghanaian born TV presenter, actor, producer, and entrepreneur Molly Gava in an interview with Hip TV speaks on stereotyping actors in the movie industry while encouraging actors in general to not reject roles because of the stereotype tag. You see, listen, you know how like people say, oh, uh, money isn't everything or money isn't going to bring you happiness. It's only people who are rich who get to say things like money isn't everything or money isn't happiness. It's the same thing for acting. Why would you be upset that people are looking for you for a particular role? There's thousands of actors who have no jobs, who are struggling to get a proper role. So if you have a role that people think that you're the best at, you shouldn't be upset at it. Last, last, you could think of like, hey, maybe I'm the best at it. It's up to you now to decide, do I want to do this or do I not want to do this? But from being stereotyped, that's, that's their decision, not yours. So if people think that, hey, the person who can play the best evil mother is this person, You've done a great job, Sha. You've shown that you're the best for the job. If the job comes that you want to do it, you do it. If you don't want to do it, you don't do it. But there's nothing wrong with it. It's only people who have who get to say things like, oh my God, I'm getting too many roles for the same part. So I'm getting too many. When you have, that's when you get to complain. So. Your parents won't even accept me. I don't care. With the recent boom in the Nigerian movie industry, especially from financial opportunities that streaming platforms expose filmmakers to, one would believe that it is only proper to state that the provisions this movie's streaming platforms render are nothing short of advantageous. However, Molly Gava advises that as much as this is true, actors and filmmakers should not get carried away by such benefits. So we have all these streaming platforms now, Netflix and the rest of them, and it's, it's amazing that you're in town, but I, I wouldn't want us to get carried away because we're getting into a point of leverage where we feel like they need us more than we like we don't we don't need anyone that's that's the that's that's the honest truth they need us more than we need them so as long as we continue to stick to our principles stick to who we are stick to the fact that we've always had talent people say it's now africa's time it's always been africa's time so now hopefully we get to own who we are and we, we, we put actual value on what we're offering. So it's great that all of these people are in town, Netflix, HBO Prime, everyone who's in town, we absolutely welcome you. And we hope that you will value us the way we want to be valued because we are worth a lot. And that's all I can say. Molly Gavo further stated that if he has a chance to influence any part of the Nigerian movie production, he would focus on the post-production as he narrates how impressed he is with the recent set of movie productions he has been involved in, but still believes more can be done in post-production process before the release of the movie. I can make any adjustments or improvements in the Nigerian film industry. We would probably take more time with post-production, um, sort of spend more time doing like sound design, just color correction, everything. However, however, this is the most important part. I completely understand why it's almost impossible to spend two years correcting a film the way Marvel can afford to because they have millions of dollars in profit. We have young Nigerian producers who are trying to do the best for themselves and for their families. So I understand it. Um, I'm hoping for the best, and I know that things are going to get better, but I understand why we are where we are, and I know that the future is bright. So I'm, I'm hopeful, and that's all I can say.